Hello and welcome to a new video on OG Cars and you join us again with the favourite CD edition. So the plan today is to basically do a very basic service on the car and then get it running and maybe even get it driving. We're obviously around the field here, not out on the roads, but hopefully try and give this car a little drive. So Leo is just helping us do some of the few basic things. So as you can see, this is the old air filter that was on the favourite, which isn't great. So we're replacing it with... Let's get you. She's on an adventure now. She's, She's had enough. Now, she doesn't uh, like air filters apparently. No. She's gone to mine down over there. New one, so hopefully that helps the car a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna pop that into this plastic case that we've just removed. And then we're gonna clip the top back on. And then next up we're gonna I think we've got some spark plugs actually, haven't we? So I think we're gonna Yeah, we've got replacement spark plugs. We've also got replacement oil filters, but we're not gonna do that right now, we'll do that at a later date. So yeah. we're just gonna do the spark plugs, the air filter, and then as we said, we're gonna top all the coolant up because we know it has oil. Um, yeah. and then we'll see if it runs and drives. That's all four of them out. So uh, let's get these lovely new Bosch N50s in. So now that the spark plugs are in and tightened up, we've put the HT leads back on in order. And it turns out we have a distributor cap and a rotor arm, um, spare brand new ones. So we're gonna pop them on now. And uh, I'm gonna pay careful attention to what way the, the leads go around on this side as well. Well, we've got a rotor arm, which is correct. Uh, looks about the same as the old one that's on there. But unfortunately, the distributor cap is actually a slightly different style. Um, in here, it's got sort of like a centre piece which sticks up, whereas the other HT leads have sort of like a piece that sticks down and then goes into it. So it's a very slightly different design, so we can't fit the cap, but we can do the arm and clean up the cap, so that'll be fine. So we've just put the airbox back on, taken some stuff out from the inside of the car, which is sprawled everywhere. We need to go through it and sort everything. But we're pretty much ready to go under here, apart from fitting the battery up and putting uh, a little bit of wire in to get it onto the starter there. Um, as you saw in the last video, we had to do that to get it going. Um, we still need to distribute a cap because it is looking slightly worn, but we know it starts on, on that one. So we'll run it for now. We did give it a quick clean and obviously it's got a new rotor arm as well. So that's fine. Um, so yeah, let's just get that battery in and then see if we can uh, get it going. So we've got the battery on, got my dodgy wire. So let's give it a go. What's the problem? Well, uh, it wouldn't get out because we didn't put any air in the tyres and we did actually bring the, the, the tyre pump so we could put some air in. So uh, we'll go and do that bit now and then we'll, uh, we'll carry on where we left off. there you go it it does run which we're really really happy with there are a few things that we think are going to need to be done so in the last video we were saying 2016 it was last on the road it's actually 2012 uh the brakes feel atrocious so we're going to do the the front brakes because obviously it's discs and pads on the front it's drums on the back so hopefully they can be cleaned up but if not we'll get those replaced as well yeah we've got a bit of a bind on the back as you may have noticed in the video we dragged the near side rear wheel a fair way actually i, I don't uh, think that was noticeable at all no yeah, this, <laughs> um, did, this did stick on that rear wheel you can actually see yes the drag fine. mark probably in the back but yeah the plan now is we want to sort the wiring out because obviously there's that issue with the starter 
so that there is a button in there to press so the car will start and we just want to tidy it up in general so yeah this has been a really good start to this project it's it's much easier than a lot of the projects we normally do so yeah we're going to need some more tires on there as well i think they keep going flat oh, i don't know what you're on about i think like, look at those there when they're i was pumping quality. the air into this one i could hear it coming out in fact i still can i don't think you can but they're, they're pretty old anyway so yeah yeah that's another thing on the list but yeah yeah we were thinking four new tires brakes sort the brakes pads yeah do a proper service tea. oil and filter and, and you, you say tidy it up. Be a little bit of a, a coolant leak that needs to be sorted under there as well. But yeah, but we'll sort that. We'll sort that. I mean, it wouldn't be me if I didn't buy a car that doesn't have some sort of coolant problem. So every car, that's fine. Here it is, another one. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Stay tuned. As I say, there's always more Skoda videos. You can see the other two about there. This one's here. But stay tuned, and there'll be plenty more videos to come. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.